Master 1 is the highest rank on Master Duel's competitive ladder, and getting there is not easy. Only the most strategic duelists with the strongest cards can climb all the way to the top. But what if you don't use the strongest cards, or the best strategy? What if you and the bros just shout tally-ho and rush headlong into battle? How far could you get then? I'm Hard Leg Joe, if in ya didn't know, and that's just the kind of thing I do. Each month my patrons pick a different archetype, and I do my best to push it up the Master Duel ladder. This month, we're playing Springens, an archetype of desert marauders who weave their ships in and out of danger, and use their mechanical crew as missiles to dome the opponent. Though this archetype has historically been too slow to really compete, their newest round of support may just change that. Not only did their captain receive a gigantic upgrade, but he searches one of the most busted pieces of archetypal support ever printed. Will that be enough to rocket the Springens into Master? You'll have to watch to find out. And here we are, another month, another deck, and as the intro said, it's Springens this time, baby. We're playing those good old Springens. The first Ixie deck since Galaxy Eyes, and hopefully it'll do better than the Galaxy Eyes episode. Now, beforehand, I looked up a whole bunch of builds, tried to learn how to play this deck, and I was actually kind of surprised how little variance there is. There's not a whole lot of, like, Springen duelist out there, and the ones that exist pretty much just all agree on what to play. Really the only variances are like a couple tech cards, maybe some extra deck stuff. There's not really like entirely different builds, with the exception of Springen's Auroradon, which is unique to Master Duel since Auroradon is legal here, and is even more of a combo deck than this already is. I really don't want to play that, I don't think it's going to work, but you know, if this ends up being awful, we always have that to go back on. For now we're going to play a variance that some people call Psyframe Springen's, but we only really play four Psyframes. It's two Gamma, one Driver, and one Lambda. And your combo is going to end on a bunch of stuff, and usually you'll have two or three left over. You make this, and then you search the Gamma. So that's all there is. We can swap these out, and then the Super Polymerization. This is the tech card I'm using. I think this is really good on Master Duel right now. Deals with a whole lot of branded decks and the sprite decks, mostly because they can't respond to it. Good going second, good going first, because you can set it and then use it as disruption. And now that we have Garura out, just very nice. Other than that, typical Springen stuff, which I'll explain after we build the deck, which shouldn't take that long. We've already got most of it. By habit of collecting all the cards and never breaking everything down is starting to pay off because we only need one ultra rare, another copy of gigantic champion Sargas, or I'm sorry, champion Sargas. I don't know why it's in quotes. Maybe he's ironically the champion? Who can say? But this is actually the boss monster of the Springens archetype. Even though he doesn't have Springens in the name, you Ixie summon this kind of like Zeus by just stacking it on top of one Springens Ixie you control. And then it searches both Springens and Therion cards, which is why we're playing the one Regulus. You could summon this because these are all machines. And there are some people who play a more robust Therion package. That's another alternative. But for now, we're just on the one. And yeah, I'll explain all the ins and outs. For now, we'll just go to the pack opening, which should be pretty short. I'm thinking just one or 2,000 gems to get the one you are we need. Hopefully it's pretty short. So that we should get pretty fast. And let me know down in the comments what you think about that. I've had some people say that the pack openings are too long, they wish I would cut them out or cut them down shorter, and some people think the pack openings are like the best part of the video. So let me know after this one, but for now, let's get into it. All right, here we are, and as I said, we only need one UR. It's the gigantic champion Sargass, who is in Climax of the Showdown. Let's go ahead and open these. We just need the one UR. We've got at least... This is almost always a UR, at least two. Let's see how it goes. Up, oh, starting off with a UR right off the bat, and because this is a regular pack, all the cards are from this pack. So uh, we're, we're not getting anything outside of the theme. And there we go. It's that easy. It's, let, let me update, I didn't even update the thing yet. We spent 1k gems and we got everything we needed in the first pack. We don't even need to see the rest of them. I mean, I guess if we get some SRs or something, that'll be cool, but uh, 
Yeah, mission accomplished. Fastest pack opening ever. <laughs> Laughing Puffin. Seems like an interesting extender. Oh, and there's the other Tally Ho. There's, I was like, we can craft all the SRs. It's no big deal, but uh, we got one of the ones we need. I think there's like one more. We might just get everything we need in this first set. <laughs> Oh, hey, another you are. This is just extra. Well, we got the worst Tri Brigade ever printed. I heard that this is just like awful. And it's like a challenge to summon and it's not very good. But uh, we got it if we ever want it. Oh, I told you the last pack would be an ultra rare. Although again, we don't, we don't really need any ultra rares. So this is just bonus. We just get to see, ooh, we got a bunch of stuff. Let's do the super rare first. Dogmatica Matrix. If we ever play the Dogmatica Ritual, that'll be it. And what's our final ultra rare? A third Sargass! Our cup runneth over! We got everything we wanted and more. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably, I don't think we need three, but we'll maybe hold on to it till the end of the month, just cause we can, just cause we don't need it. And uh, there you go. 1,000 gems, unless we switch up to the Auroradon version of the deck or something and we need to get a whole bunch of synchros. That's all we had to spend this month. Cheap deck, very budget. And there we go, that easy. We've built the deck and now all that remains is to do some extra testing. I'm gonna test this out with the Twitch watchers, with the patrons. And by the way, if you wanna help support the show, if you like what I do and you wanna maybe duel me sometime, consider joining the Patreon. Patreon.com slash hardleggaming. Link down in the description. Description, maybe on the the screen as well if the editor could put it up there that that would be cool They're doing they're doing a good job But yeah consider checking that out if you like what I do just one dollar get you on and I appreciate every little bit Otherwise, we're gonna test this I might make a few changes and then I'll come back and explain how it works You'll get a deck profile for those of you who want that if not there's time codes You could use the time codes to skip to the duels pretty neat technology all right, here we are, stream number one, the first day of recording. We are starting in Platinum 5, which is now reflected in that little thingy do up there. People wanted that, now you know the ranks up there after the wins and loss. And the deck is looking pretty much like it was before. I don't think we've made any substantial changes aside from removing the Psyframe package, which wasn't coming in useful enough. We needed a couple more names and a little bit more go second cards. And I think the evenly matched works for that. I don't know, it feels like we've tried evenly matched in every deck in this series and it never ends up being worth main decking, but maybe this time it'll be different. But yeah, other than that, we're playing a fairly standard Springins build. There are a couple different ones. There's of course, like I said, the Psyframe package. There's ones that play a lot more Therions because we do have a way to search any theory on card and there's a few other more cheesy versions there's a few different ways to build it but right now we're starting with a pretty standard one and just running these two as tech cards super poly and evenly matched as for how springins work i think the dual logs once described them as a reverse ixie deck basically everything runs on this field spell the great sand sea golganga gives all springins ixie monsters a thousand attack which is nice but more importantly, once per turn, if you control no Springins Ixies, you can discard a Springins card, special summon an Ixie from your extra deck. And you may be wondering, what do the Ixies do without material? Most of them, nothing. They, they don't do a whole lot. Where this gets interesting is that all the Springins machine monsters, so all of them except for Kit, have the effect where if they're in the hand or the graveyard, or I think on the field too, you can target a Springins Ixie and they equip themselves as material. So if these are like pirate ships and stuff, Basically, the ship comes in and then all the crew just jumps from wherever they are and get on board the ship. At least that's the way I like to imagine it. And so that's the reverse Ixie. You summon the Ixie first and then you put the material on. You don't get the material the normal way. You can, of course, do that. And sometimes we do with our rank four, but the rank eight, we almost exclusively make just by using Golgonga. And most of our big combos just use Golgonga, which is why we have so many ways to search it. Bringin's 
booty is a continuous spell that does some stuff that I, we don't care about, but also you can send it from the field to the graveyard to set a Golgonda from your deck. Springen's Watch says add a Golgonga from your deck to your graveyard, or if you already have one, you can search a Springen's and then Foolish Burial a Springen's, which is really good because again, all the Springen's in the graveyard can just hop aboard whatever ship you happen to summon. Now the ships themselves, we've got two of them. We've got Merrymaker, who's a level four. When this is special summoned, you can send one Springen from your deck to the graveyard, so it foolishes on summon. And then during the opponent's main or battle phase, banish this card until the next end phase. Then if you banish this card with two or more materials, you can also send a fusion monster from your extra deck, which we almost never do. This is very rarely kept on the field, but if it is, it's just good to know these essentially work like Time Thief Redoer. This is a, a, essentially an unofficial Springen's card, because this does it too. During the opponent's main or battle phase, banish this card until the end phase, and then it just comes back. And the fact that they lose all the material doesn't matter, because again, you could just bring the material back. The actual material, I believe, doesn't do anything for this. Yeah, this is literally just a 2,000. Although Golgonga and Booty both say that, like, if a Ixy monster leaves the field by card effect, target a monster your opponent controls and can attack for the rest of this turn. Booty, meanwhile, says... If a face-up Ixie monster leaves the field by card effect, target an effect monster. Neither player can activate that monster's effects on the field this turn. So you've got a little bit of control, and that's essentially what the original Springens was. It used to be more of a control-centric deck, where you had all these spells that activated when an Ixie left the field. So you tag out to stall on your opponent's turn, make it so they can't activate their effects, can't attack. Then your stuff would come back, you put more material on it, and you just build up stuff from there. This all changed with their newest support, Gigantic Champion Sargas who despite not being a Springen's card, it's a Springen's card. Because you can summon this by using one Springen's Ixie you control. So once you go Ganga, get your thing, you just stack Sargas on top. And he has several effects. First, while this card has material, you can add one Springen's or Therion card from your deck to your hand. That's why we play the Therion King Regulus. That's why a lot of people try to combine these two archetypes, because you could just search any Therion using this guy once per turn, and most of the Springens, except for Kit, are all machines, so if you have any of these in the graveyard, you could just summon Regulus and get a free negate. Now in addition to that, if the material is detached from a monster on the field, target one card on the field and either destroy it or return it to the hand. Now this is interesting because this doesn't detach from itself, but if you have this on the field with say like a Redoer, and Redoer activates his effect, then it triggers Sargas, and you can either bounce a card or destroy a card. In addition, we also have ways to get this on the field. This is Young Sargas, as I call him. Level eight has the same effect as the other Springens to jump aboard, but if it's on the field during your opponent's turn, as a quick effect, detach one material from an Ixie to target a face-up card and destroy it. So if you end with both Sargasses on the board, you can detach from Champion to pop a card, and then Champion will pop or bounce another card. So that's generally what we're doing, is we're building a field that has Sargas, plus Sargas, plus Regulus, plus Time Thief Redoer, and we're doing some shenanigans to keep our opponent off stuff. It's kind of a stun deck in that way. We don't make enough negates or disruption to completely shut down the game, but we can stall them out for a turn, and then next turn, when we get to play again, we can either just use this again, pop more cards, bounce more cards, make more Ixies, make links, or go into Exablower, the level eight. This is a pretty cool removal effect. It doesn't target a monster, it it targets a zone on the field, and then it destroys all the cards in that zone and adjacent to the zone. So it makes like an X pattern, kind of like a pirate, like an X marks the spot, you know? Or kind of like those Evangelion things that make like a big cross. It only blows up monsters equal to the number of materials you detach, but as I've hopefully shown, it's pretty easy to get three or four materials in the graveyard, and they can all just hop aboard, jump off, blow something up, and then if you don't want to attack for 26, which will 
have with Golganga, you could just rank this up into a 2800. And then of course we've got Zeus and everything like that. So that's the main idea. I guess the only other card really worth mentioning here right now is the other new card they got. Tally Ho Springins, which a lot of people have pointed out. This reads like a custom card. When you activate this, you can also detach up to three materials from a monster you control. So it triggers Sargass. You add one Springins monster from your deck to your hand. Then if you detached any materials, special summon Springins from your hand or graveyard up to the number of Ixy materials you detached. So basically at worst case scenario, if you have nothing on the field, this searches every Springins monster. If you have like a Sargass on the field that was made with a Merrymaker that attached two things, you can detach three, search a card, and then summon that card from your hand plus two Springins from the graveyard and make a whole bunch of Lincoln Ixy plays. It does not restrict you. And if that weren't good enough, it also has recursion. If this is in the graveyard, target an Ixy monster on the field, doesn't have to be your own, detach a material, add this back to your hand. Now you can only use each effect once per turn. So if you add it back, you can't immediately search, but it's just the fact that you're gonna add it back and then you can set it. And if you've still got a Sargass, this can be used to trigger Sargass during the opponent's turn while searching or summoning stuff from the graveyard. So we've got quite a few control tools and really the only thing holding it back is the fact that there's only three good Springins monsters and Kit isn't a machine. We've got some other combos, I'll show them off, but that's the basic idea. Put on a bunch of disruptions, next turn, summon all the things, big attacks, more destructions. We don't have any negates hardly. Uh, we do have one negate trap that we can search, but most of it's just destroying and bouncing stuff. Is that going to be particularly good? I mean, it's good against Tier Lament. They don't like to be bounced back to the extra deck, but I'm not sure how much of that we'll be running into. Either way, enough talk. Let's just go, let's just go into it. Let's get into the duels. All right, all right. First duel and we're going first, which we really want to do. This is a deck like so many others that struggles going second. They really need to start making archetypes that have like more go second tools. And we open with Regulus, which is not something you really want to do. Regulus and Branded in High Spirits. A little oofy, but we do have great Sand Sea Golgonga. Which we don't even get a chance to activate. Easiest do- I wonder what our opponent was playing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess this was an AI bot. Huh. I thought- I thought we had dealt with those, but apparently not. Third duel and the second one in which we've opened Regulus. I love making my opponent banish two cards. Oh, and Ash too? What is it, my birthday? End of battle phase. Time to make things a little more, haha, <laughs> evenly matched. The lighter dark monster. Okay, so we just gotta make sure that we play around... Whatchamacallit. Okay, so let's use the Springgen's Watch. And there's the Ash. All right, that's unfortunate, but I think we can still do the alternate combo. And unless that, no, even if that last card's maxi, we have the Ash for it. So we are going to grab Kit, because Kit and any Springins is full combo. So we normal summon the Kit. Kit, when summoned, can add a branded spell trap, and we play one. That card is branded in high spirits. And then we have to put a card back. I think we put back the Regulus because we'll have another way to get it. So we brand it in high spirits. We reveal a monster and then we send a monster from the extra deck of the same type that has Fallen of Albaz in its name. So we send that. Then we discard the monster. Then we add another Springins kit from our deck to our hand. Kit says if you've got a Ixy or a monster in the grave that has the name of Fallen of Albaz listed on it, you could special summon it from your hand. Free special. Then we make Merrymaker the old fashioned way. And let's go ahead and send Brothers. Brothers goes to the graveyard. Brothers activates, summon Rocky. Rocky activates, give me back brothers. Let's just go ahead and make Sargass. Okay, yeah, here's what we do. Use Sargass and we grab Regulus. 
I think considering their hand and their deck, this is probably the best thing to have. Especially because it'll get this out of the graveyard. That, of course, keeps us from getting the, um, the whatchamacallit during the end phase, but we're fine. They've got two cards, and we've got Ash plus a negate. Against Branded, I think that's probably going to be good enough. Especially if they're playing Bestials, we've left them with no monsters in the graveyard. They're not over yet. All right, they've got exactly a set card. What could it be? I don't think it really matters much. Oh yeah, especially when we can do this. Tally ho, Springins! Let's activate this. Let's detach the Ixy. Add it back to our hand. That'll trigger the Sargas, which will pop this card. Branded in white. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we'll just go in for attack. And there you go. All they had to do was brick and we had to get evenly and uh, we got it. I think this better be, okay, good. <laughs> if I miscounted, we got him. Okay, we're slightly ahead. We get to go first. We got that booty. And they have presumably maxi. Activate that booty. Booty shuffle! Do, 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 do. Golgonda! Activate the Golgonda. Discard Bronga. Summon the Merrymaker. Ash Blossom? That was the wrong thing to ash, good sir! You have not ashed the proper target! Equip. Then we make Sergeant Ass over here. Activate the effect. Search. Tally ho. Tally ho! Uh, we're only going to detach one. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. We'll get brothers. Special summon kit, yeah. Summon kit. Kit, activate the effect. Sargas, bounce the Great Sand Sea back to my hand. Destroy? No. I want it. We'll get this. We'll put back that booty. We don't need two booties. I'm a one booty man. Activate Branded and High Spirits. We'll be like, check it out, we got brothers. Send the Iron Dash. Discard. Add one of those. Uh, sure, we'll use this effect. We'll Branga. Then we can activate this. Special Salmon. And then, because we've got multiples, I think we go for this. I love Salmon. And we'll activate Branga. We'll banish a kit. Let's get a... Oh, let's get another Tally Ho. Set. Set. End phase. Activate the ship. We will summon with our Sargas another Sargas. Bada bingo, we got interaction out the wazoo. As long as they don't sphere mode us, I think we're pretty good. We got a pop. We got a pop bounce. We got an Appalooza on their turn. Or the underworld goddess. We've got a super poly. We've got a searchy poly. One for one. I will allow it. Ah, dee 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 dee. Uh, sure. Buddy, buddy, buddy. That's all, folks. Dark contract with the ass. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop that.
We will pop. And then Sargas will also pop. Yes, destroy the Kepler. Uh, and then we'll use this. Let's go, baby! One! Uh, no. Two! Three! Four! Appalooza! To arc. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, go ahead. I'd let it go. 90% chance it's a dark monster. Tally ho! Let's grab a brothers. And then we super poly. Starving Venom! And that triggers the brothers! Sargass came back! Bitch, I lived! Yeah, I'll stop that. Shit, they may not be dead here. I really need to get any Springins card. That's a Springins card! And that should be game. We did it. We've, the, the, the game finally did what we wanted it to do. Congratulations, me. I did, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, one more win and we're ranking up, baby. We're still winning more than we're losing. Uh, this, this is really going to be dependent on what they have. Not a great hand, though. We play one of the Sargass. We play one of the Springen's uh, Blast. And it's just the, uh, just the FTK again. I seem to be seeing a lot of these FTK bots. At least I assume this is an FTK bot. Maybe someone is actually playing into the void for other reasons. Who can say? But, um, yeah. I guess, I guess there we go. Easy peasy, you know? We, we ranked up. Who needs to even fight? We got it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, did you see that message there, chat? One second, let me make sure this was the, um... Oh, no, FTK, Bish Balkan. I was like, what is this? No, Bish Balkan. And yeah, if you didn't notice that, we got the notification. Things have gone to our gift box. Once again, we have maxed out the Arby's gift cards. I really wish Konami would just like, do something with these other than these because there is nothing good. Not a single thing. All right. Yeah, that seems like a good thing to Ash. Yeah, that was a good thing to Ash. Ah, <laughs> oh, brothers! I think we want to keep the brothers in our hand, actually. Hello there. Uh, they do have a Lubellion in the grave. Okay. Oh, jeez, that's me. <laughs> what are you doing spying on me? Come down to take my pickles there, have ya? Oh, uh, let's discard. We're going to kit. We're going to do this. Um, I think they can use the Lubellion anyway. Oh, uh, let's make them banish the Lubellion. Destroy? Nah, you can have it back. Time to be in high spirits. I'll put the blast back. And this is why we retained the brothers. Brothers, Rocky. <laughs> All right. Druis, oh, Magnamut.
I still get to summon! Uh, yeah, I think we go for this. Uh, okay. We're fine-ish. Gobble, gobble. Oh, I love drawing cards. You're stealing my Ash Blossom? Okay. Oh, did a monster uh, just uh, unequip some cards? Uh, <laughs> activate. Uh, no, I don't think I want to destroy it. I think I want to bounce it back to my hand. <laughs> Funny. Um, yeah, let's do the redoer. We'll detach this and this. Draw a card. Uh, no, we don't want to use that yet. Uh, I mean, we just drew the ash. Oh, we could just do this. Adios. Uh, no attacky. I think that's what it does. Uh, target of a monster can't attack for the rest of the turn. Okay. All right, all right. Redoer comes back. Merrymaker comes back. The whole squad is here. Yeah, let's quit. <laughs> I am so sorry, little one. Uh, yeah, let's activate this. We'll detach the trap. We'll shuffle this back into the deck. That'll trigger Sargass. And we'll bounce that back to the hand again. There we go! All some funny stuff happened there. I'm not sure if it was necessarily the most, uh, you know, exciting duel, but we definitely did some things. Wait, did I fuck? No, I didn't fuck this up. I keep thinking that I, like, didn't put enough damage on. Every time with the king! We did open Golganga, and we did open a Springen's name, so it's not dire. Send Rocky? Yeah, we send Rocky. Then we equip. Yo, what up? Yo, what up? Behold, our gigantic champion! You've played Undertale, you know about ass gore, but Sargass has twice the ass. Search Tally Ho. Count them up. Tally those hoes. I have not normal summoned yet, right? We don't do the kit line because we don't have another machine. Instead, what we do is... Do do and then a brothers. Yeah. Special summon. We'll get the two out of the graveyard. Uh yep, we'll bounce this back as we do. Destroy, no. Add. Normal summon. <laughs> oh yeah. Plus, most importantly, because there's currently no machines in the graveyard. Well, we could just redo her now. Activate Regulus. Let's equip the brothers. Point. And then... Yeah, I guess we do reactivate this. Oh, wait. No, it's it only... No, it's if an extra deck. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I was adding this back to hand. I wanted to prevent it from being destroyed, but I'm realizing now that it has, like, great synergy with Redoer. Redoer can just redo the things that it wants to. All right, Redoer. Let's see what they got. Give me that equip. A spell? Book of Moon! Ah, so it's birds then. Um, I'll allow it. Yeah, we'll ash that. Negate that effect, it doesn't destroy. Okay, evenly matched. That'll bait out the Regulus.
bird. Ah, I see. Okay, so now we do nothing because they surrender. Okay. All right, we're sargassing our way to the top. We've got all that gas, gas, gas. All right. Anytime you go second and you open with super poly ash, you're in pretty good. We've got a springins and a way to search a springins. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll ash the rhino heart. Maybe that'll stop them. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to Great Sand Sea. Let's see what we can do. Uh, time to watch. If you've got a crime, you kind of got to use it. Yeah, they got a crime. Springen's watch would have been really good to resolve. Fortunately, we've still got some stuff we can do. Send off the booty. Summon the Merrymaker. Activate the Merrymaker. In perm the Merrymaker. Sarg it up. Add a card, yes. Okay, what do we want to add? Regulus all day. We don't have another monster in the graveyard, unfortunately. We gotta go for this. Tally ho. Let's add... Oh, we can do the thing with kit. Okay, get kit. Going to Sargas. Target this. Going to kit. Add to hand. We'll have to get rid of the super poly, but at this point it doesn't look like we're going to be able to activate it. Ah. Ah, I see. Oh, we can still do the things. Yeah, we're still doing this. We just gotta hope they missed the mill five, and they didn't. They hit literally every name. Oh, okay. Well, they're putting my Sargass back. That's nice of them. Branded in high spirits. We reveal this. Send that. Discard, add kit. Oh, I don't have another level four, do I? Son of a bitch. Okay, yeah, I'm screwed. Either way, they can beat over it. Let's just get a Branga. Yeah, ironically, I think if I had just not summoned a uh, kit, I would have won. Because I don't have any dark monsters, and I'm not sure what else they can super poly, unless they're also playing Garuda. Well, they're probably playing Garuda. Okay, okay. What's in their hand? Ash, probably. That's a good one. Let's try it. We knew it was an Ash, but that's fine. I think we have a thing. Okay. Branga. Banish this. We've got a Rocky in the graveyard already, so we can banish the kit. We can add... Yeah, brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Activate Golganga. Send the brothers. Summon... I think we want the ship? No, we have to get the Exablower. Because that can get out this. Uh, brothers activate. Get Rocky. Hello. Activate Rocky. Get back brothers. No. Okay, okay. Summon this. Okay, Mascarena comes out. Then we are going to equip Rocky. And we're going to force out this. We don't want to destroy this if we can help it. Target the zone behind them. Okay, so they negate. And then we're just off to the races. Then it's just Discount Race Warehouse. Because now, Champion Sargass returns! Activate. Give me that tally-ho. We're tallying, baby. Count them up. Count up the wins, because this is about to be another one. Detach. Yeah, let's detach. 
Two? Yeah, we'll get rid of both of them. Let's add the other Sargass. Special summon, yes. Bada bingo, bada bango. That'll trigger this. We can target the Kaleido heart and bounce it back. And then activate the kit effect. Special summon it. Not gonna use the effect. Oh wait, this is even better. I was like, oh, we can make the underworld goddess. Like, or, or we could make a three mat apo. That can beat over, we can already beat over it. Actually, is this more damage? Yeah, this is more damage. Beat over you. Eh. And then, we need the bounce. The bounce is what's going to help us. That, we know for a fact they play traps, so we might be able to pull a trap off the top. Yeah, we did it! Take that, Tier Lament! Super Poly all you want! The champion comes to take his crown, baby! Ha-cha-cha-cha-cha! Uh-oh. Oh, wait. No, we're fine. I was like, this is one of the few decks where Maxi doesn't do a whole lot. But it's also one of the few decks where evenly matched solos. <laughs> Dark Magic Curtain? There, there's gotta be a better way, my dog. Not, not even activating it. Unfortunately, we've got zero. Oh, okay, there's all the starters. If this is Eternal Soul and they've got it, they can end my whole career. So I, as much as I don't want to, because if it's not Eternal Soul, I can do stuff. I do have to do this. I have to e I have to evenly MST, evenly matched for one. All right. So then we can go Gonda, right? No. All right, well, I guess we tally-ho. Yeah, we just grab Rocky. For next time. Are you having a good time? I'm having an all right time. All right. Pay half my life points, draw a card. This is the steepest upstart goblin. All right. Now nah, we'll see if they do something. I mean, they gotta know now, right? What could that back row be, chat? It's It's gotta be nothing good, right? Okay, we've got a tally-ho. We've got to do this with the kit line. Now that we've got enough springins. Uh, go, go, kit. Activate. Super Polly! Fuck it. Sorry, Yugi, but you're losing to Jaden. Uh, let's put this on the bottom. And now to brand our spirits really high. Send this. Go away. Add a kit. That is 3,000. Get out of here, skill drain nonsense. I don't want to have to put up with you. We've been on a, what, like a 10 game win streak? It has been crazy. I don't know what was happening earlier. We were facing some hard decks and then it's like, and then it's like it turned into gold. All right, so we've got Golgonda. We're going on the Gonda. Let me think about this. We really needed a Rocky. I really wanted to get the full combo, but we haven't been able to do it yet. Oh yeah, we can if we give up the kit, which we can. Oh wait, no, we still can't do it. Son of a bitch. Because there's no way to get it back in time. 
There's a way you can do this where you can get like the biggest of big end boards. But we just haven't gotten the... Basically, all we need to do is open with Rocky and Golgonda and we've got it. And it just hasn't happened yet. Tally-ho! Yeah, I think we go for the Branga. Normal. Get this. And yeah, we had to maintain the brothers in hand. That sucks, but it's a board breaker tool. We'd rather have all the other stuff we can get. Send this, send this. Grab kit. Because we sent brothers, that allows us to get Rocky. Rocky activates its effect, gives us back the brothers. We use these two to make the IP. And then we summon Kit. And we use that to get Redoer. And then what's in the graveyard? And then we can use the Branga on the Kit. I don't think we've done this yet. You banish Branga and another Springins to search any Springins card, including the spells and traps. And I think we actually go for Blast under this one. Which is just another, it's target a zone while you control a Springins. The monsters in that zone cannot activate their effects. So it's another weird like gets around targeting. So we've got Sargas, Sargas, Golgonda, Springins Blast, Redoer, which probably doesn't do anything. And then we can use the three of these to make a uh, Appaloosa or something. What do we get? Ash Blossom, we have no information. Oh no. End of main phase. Should have gone for an Omni Negate. They could be faking it, but if they're faking it, I'm screwed. Okay, screw it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're activating Redoer. He's getting out of there. That will trigger the Sargass. The Sargass is giving me back this. So we have it, and then we'll go ahead and make the Apo. And then if it turns out they weren't doing that after all, and they just baited us, then they are the master baiter. What can we say? And yeah. Yeah, I have a feeling they just baited it. You don't fake it, but you say enter battle phase, and they get a chance to respond. Um, and if you do stuff, they get to re-decide if they want to go into the battle phase or not. Yeah, we'll check their deck. If they if they had it, if they had evenly, then I'll be like, okay, well we played around evenly. And if not, then we just got bait jail baited. Great, another gold gaunt. Well, if they negate the one. Another one. They let it go. I still get to activate Brothers. Brothers summon Rocky. Rocky effect. Add back Brothers. Normal summon brothers. Make Baguska just in case they have another. Yeah, just in case they have something else that targets. Make the Bagu. Attack over this. Main phase two. It's a Zeusy boy. Activate. Clear the board. It was evenly matched. Okay, I wasn't completely paranoid. And then we can detach the last material from Zeus in order to add Tally Ho back to our hand. <laughs> so now we've got a searcher, boys. 
I've got another Moye. We're so back. We're not completely out of it, but we're not in great shape either. Oh, why does Moye get to draw them a card too? Yeah, I think we doomed. Don't tell me last card is Ash that you drew. Get Rocky. Yep, they just get so many draws. Okay, you have game. Why do you keep going? Buddy. Hey. The game's over. Just attack so I can get my points. Rip a Roni. Rip, rip a Roni. Interesting. IP Elf. IP Elf. <laughs> well, it's not great. You're a little bit, bit late there, buddy. Uh, let's see. Golgonda? Oh, okay. Cool. I got one, too. Give me back my filet of fish. Give me that fish. Watch they use, um, called by the grave on it and then negate theirs and, and the same thing. Perfect draw! Uh, sure. If they negate this with the, the carrot, then I can do other stuff. Alright. We will add brothers. And we will send Rocky. It's a normal summon kit. We'll get this. Let's bait out the Mascarena, shall we? To battle phase we go! Uh, yeah, I'll continue my main phase. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Alright. Wait, you send off the- you- what? I feel like that wasn't the thing you wanted to send off. I feel like that was your other disruption? Uh, granted, we're under max C, so they, maybe they don't just don't want it activated at all. Fuck it, we go hard. It's paint hardening time! Although, this doesn't actually do- I need to equip these all to exablower, don't I? Yeah, can we just blow up these two? Or these two? Let's equip brothers. Let's target this zone. We search the tally ho. Oh, this is actually going to be very funny, assuming they don't have evenly matched. Which, I mean, they have like 20 cards, so they might... Um, activate Max C. Do you not have a negate for Max C? No, they have the Ash, of course. Uh, negate the Ash. <laughs> that Max C is resolving. You can't do anything. Don't tell me you've got a god- Okay, for a second I thought they were gonna get the, the Regulus. <laughs> okay, they've got Crossout. I forgot Crossout doesn't have to be chained in response to it. They could just banish the Maxi. Well, we tried. Uh, 
Um, yeah, because otherwise they get carried back. We just got to do this now. They get carried anyway. Yeah, but now they can't negate the tally ho. Just want kit. And then we Sargas. Target you. Rocky. Target brothers. Uh, we destroy this, right? They don't have anything that stops it. I don't think this is game. They didn't set anything either. Another one. Fuck it, we ball. Baylor? Okay. Rocky activates. We're going to put the Exablower back, even though we can't make it this turn. Another one! <laughs> Just desperately trying to stop stuff from happening. Okay. <laughs> They're just dead. They're like, this should be done by now. You should be able to beat him now. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're tallying our hoes. We're launching it now. One, two. And three. We're getting all three, baby! Uh, let's add... This guy. Special summon. Uh, one, two... Three! One draw. Battle phase. One second, baby! Beaver! Okay. Sargas, activate. Detach from Redoer. Destroy this. Activate this. Destroy this. Activate IP Mascarena. Oh, except if it targets. For some reason I got that reversed. Uh, okay. I don't think they're as close to timing out as I am. They're out of monsters, chat! They have none! Oh, they have Caddy. <gasps> These aren't the proper... Son of a bitch.
Question mark? Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, the cold buys and cold buy city. It's possible they're really low on time too. Rocky, hop aboard! They're <laughs> just stopping everything. Sargas, hop aboard! Oh, but I can do this. Activate Tally Ho. Detach the Sargas. Add to hand. Trigger champion Sargas. Destroy the red. Bada bingo! And with that, the Sprite Menace is defeated! Go for champion! Show them why you are the champion! <laughs> oh, that was a barn burner! My barn has been burned, but we did it! Oh hey, guess what? It's session two, the second stream, the second attempt at climbing. And I did not do anything off camera. We're still at plat three and I have not changed the deck. It's doing well. I don't know what changes we would really make. So we're just gonna keep going with it. All right, we barely started. Oh God. <laughs> and we're already on our way into plat two. Come back, Critter. I gave you the whole flat top for a reason. There we go. He's ready. He's prepared. All right, this isn't the greatest hand, but we can play. And we're against Zen. I think they're a famous VTuber, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead, let's send the brothers. Use the Merrymaker. We only have two brothers. We opened with both of them. Yeah, we send Rocky. You've seen this by now, I'm pretty sure. I still haven't gotten the uh, the combo I can do with Clifford Genius. That would be cool. Just put two on there, and we'll go and make Sargass. Count them up, count them up, tally the hose. What you gotta say when I'm hard leg Joes? Yeah, detach two, kit, yeah. Because we've got another machine in hand. We'll do this. We're gonna have to give up Springen's Blast, but that's not a huge deal. Get this. Then we discard that, add the kit, but discarding the brothers lets us summon back the Rocky from the graveyard. Rocky lets us get back a brothers for next turn, so we could do more stuff. And then because we've got the fusion, we can special summon kit. Oh, we still have a normal summon. Wow. And then I think we're just going to use the four of those. And to make a dang old IP Masquerade. They have to be different names. I should have normal summoned the brothers. Okay, it's fine. Damn, I was really hoping I, I should have normal summoned and then I would have, oh wait, no, I'd have a brothers there anyway. Yeah, we'll just make this. This is still good. It's just the same, I was hoping we'd be able to show like something slightly different, but instead it's the same play we've seen a dozen times. And of course I get to do that thing where like, I build a big board and then as soon as their turn starts, I could just max Z and be like, you waited for that combo for nothing. Let's see, ooh, a spell. Runix, okay. The max Z means very little probably. Okay, I think this means they're on Sprite Runic. So let's just go ahead and max Z. They must not have a runic card because they didn't chain one. Draw two more cards. All right. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Because we can't pop the fountain while this is on the field. I can bounce it back, which doesn't do a lot. Oh, okay, they got rid of it. Just going to send that. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate, but that doesn't stop it from doing. The question is, what do they take? 
Okay, they're just getting rid of the Sargass, which already fired off its effect, so... Yeah, that's fine. Now, this is just during the opponent's turn. Okay. We can use this to attach Rocky. It's face-up cards. It's face-up cards. I have made a critical error. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Another spell. Let's try this. Rocky get back, and then Rocky will get back Kit, which I can still special summon. And then essentially we just we just hope that they don't have like awaking the dragon or something. It's a starter, and they're like, I'm not even gonna bother. Just end me, son. Okay, there we go. And we did it! Thank you, Critter! I have, yeah, you'll get a raise, okay? Eight Cheez-Its instead of seven. Fine, nine. Either way, we got it. We did it. And with that, we rank up. We made a couple mistakes, but, uh, you know... Maxi is a hell of a drug, unfortunately. I mean, to be fair, I think we might have still been in decent shape. I don't know. I think it was all, honestly, the maxi. Unfortunate, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Well, this is a pretty decent hand for going second. Yeah, if they're playing dinosaurs, they can discard Misk to stop that from doing anything. This way we can stop this before they have a chance to Misk it. Or not. <laughs> Gee, Billy, how come your mom gives you two fossil digs? Uh, wait, I should just activate this now, right? Maxi minigame successful. Yep, I figured it out. I was like, oh wait, this might be Sprite. They might summon something. Which is the extent of, um, knowing when, when to max C. I mean, I could have just done it in the standby phase, and that would play around Triple Tactics talents. I think that's probably the best thing, but I still can't. I, when I'm playing for a show, I at least want to have the semblance of some kind of skill. And that's the closest thing you get to a skill with, with max C is like, Oh, are they in the position where they might summon a monster? I should activate it now. Also, they taken that challenge. They taken it big time. All right. Battle phase. End of battle phase. Activate evenly matched. And there we go. Another win for Maxi. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Sucks when you have to tally ho right off the bat. But you need to get this. Kit go, kit activate, get branded in high spirits. I'm gonna put back a maxi. And then this summons from the deck. Ah! I should have gone for the trap. Oh, it's just this. If I had searched Tally Ho, we'd be in such good condition. And they've got Sales Band, too. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> During your main phase, if this is at the graveyard, target an Ixie, detach one material. It detaches as cost! Get that shit off of there! What now, Krungo? What do you do now? <laughs> Destroy Astraltopia, yes. Three materials? Unaffected, but I can still normal and special summon. Which means 
Now that I've got Golgonga, uh, let's. <laughs> 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 Take that, Rongo! I'm the only deck that has an inherent out to your shit! All I had to do was set Tally Ho, act of, well, I was gonna, I was gonna see if I could, uh, Underworld Goddess them. I'm pretty sure you can do that once you can summon. But if not, I could have set Tally Ho, activate it during their turn, and then have it next turn to do it again. We were talking about that before, we're like, this will never come up, but it might. All right, tiny, almost insignificant change to the deck, but I still wanted to point it out. Uh, we had a game where we're going up against Tier Lament, and we didn't really have anything against them. People pointed out we really should be playing Abyss Dweller over Baguska, especially because Baguska kind of shuts our deck down. It's one of those things you only really do if, like, you can't do anything else, and we've yet to find ourselves in that situation. So we've removed one specific out for another one. Maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't, but it's at least there. Perfect. We open with Golganga and Rocky. That is full combo. Activate. The Rocky Shocker. Rocky activate, add back brothers. Not even technical errors will stop the hype. Normal summon. Equip. I'm gonna go in defense just in case. Play around Lightning Storm. Even if he only's got 1500 defense. Search the Tally Ho. Activate. The whole kit and caboodle. Make sure you summon them to the zones. We're gonna search. And we're gonna search. Branded in high spirits, we'll put back the evenly matched because we don't need it going first. This will search the Regulus. Activate the Regulus now, just in case they've got an Abiru on the horizon. There we go. Then we branded in high spirits. Discard, add this. We're gonna use this and banish the kit because it's a dark and that way they can't use uh, whatchamacallits on us if they draw them. And there we go, chat. I think that's about as full combo as we can possibly get. We've got three monster negates with the Appaloosa. We've got the Sargass that can pop a monster at quick effect speed. We've got the other Sargass that's a pop or a bounce. We've got a monster effect negate that doesn't target. We've got an omni negate and a called by the grave just to add. This is about as good as it gets, unless they hit us with like sphere mode or something. We're pretty solid. Ultimate Slayer. All right, well they get to stop one of them. Send the Farajit and then shuffle it into the deck. All right. I don't think I've seen that animation before. Draw one card, yeah, we'll allow it. All right, three monster negates down, but that's that's all they had. They were really hoping on that one draw to do something and we were just too strong. Um, wow, this sucks. Uh, we can do it, but it it's not very great. And reveal this, send this, discard, add kit. We already opened with Tally Ho, and we already opened with Blast. Or we, yeah, we can't search Regulus, because we had to discard Regulus. We could search Tally Ho and set it, and I think that's about the best we can hope for. Uh, yep. That's what we got, and I'm pretty sure this Biss deal is going to eat up our uh, Iron Dash. Oh, okay. All right, so we got a Sargass. Two Sargasses in a dream, chat. 
Oh, it's Thunder Dragon. I was not expecting that. Don't forget, for Thunder Dragons, they have to have a dragon on the field, right, chat? So as long as I can, if I can keep, like, bouncing and popping their monsters so that they can't have anything, they can't make Colossus. The fuck? Um... Yeah, I guess we do this. And sure, we'll discard this while we're at it. Okay, they had Ash. That's fine, at least we got the Ash out, so now they can't stop the tally-ho. When do you play Maxi? Someone time out Emperor Stove. Yeah, we negate that. Target a zone! They had a bestial the whole time! Okay, Pizza Hut, but Pizza Hut can't get over my stuff. Get rid of the sprint, whatever. Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. Yeah, I need to stop that. Yeah, we detach to... We add Rocky to our hand. Uh, destroy it. Yeah. And that's all my interaction. Ah, oh, god damn it. They had Thunder Dragon stuff the whole time. They've got no Thunders on the field. Trishula, the Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. Someone actually made it. They got rid of my Zeus. I really need a Golgonda. I have a lot of ways to get to it. Oh wait, I can search it now. Awesome. Okay, we're not out of this yet. Druus Worm, that's unfortunate. But I only have one Dark in the Grave and I can get rid of it right now. That's not what I wanted to see right now. Okay. Go, go, Branga. Get rid of the kit. No dark monsters in this dojo. Or this plays around Ash, but it doesn't play around this, which we know they have. Yeah, if they ash... Oh wait, if they ash this, we've got the cross out. Okay. Go, go, Gonda. Wait, 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 wait. Let me think about this. Okay, so we normal summon this first. And we use this to put back the Merrymaker. Max C. All right. We've got the Designator. Consider Max C designated. What chow? Okay, now we can Merrymaker. Merrymaker can send brothers. Brothers can equip. Okay, here's what we're going to do now. Just in case they blow up the Sargass as soon as it loads. We just need to hope. Hope dangles on a string. Because we need to use this, otherwise we have no way to bounce this back. They didn't stop it! Say it with me, chat! Tally-ho, Springins! Detach three! Soul charge! Soul charge! Soul charge! Special summon a monster? Oh, you bet, baby. We're special summoning every one of those monsters! And then we're activating Sargass. Destroy? No, no, no. Back to the extra deck with ye! 
Oh wait, I think we can win right here. I forgot, we still have the Golconda. 60 seconds is all we'll need. Summon the Exa Blower. It's time to toot their horn. Activate. Launch the bomb. And now we go and drop the bomb. Draw a card. Wow, they just go all the pluses. Uh, continue now. As expected. All right. Equip. Come on, show me a spell or a trap. Nope, it's just a dragon card. Brother Loops. <laughs> yeah. They just really trying for that. They don't have enough! And then this triggers! Goodbye, Titan! Back to the extra deck with we- with ye! No! <laughs> when the match has been evened! Sorgas stands alone! <laughs> Gimme. Uh, okay. Um, activate Tally Ho. Detach from Redoer. Activate Sargas. Bounce back. GG. Oh no, I'm a hundred off! Uh, mm, uh, mm. Oops! Yeah, let's just get a booty. Activate booty. We don't want to summon anything because then they'll get a guy or a, 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 a bestial and we don't want them to have a bestial. Your move. I got a trap! Da 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 da! <laughs> you may find a little trouble doing what you hope to do. Yep, we just fire it off now. And back you go! Ha cha 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 cha! Woo! Sargas control! How do you like me? How do you like me? Sargas control! We just got that every roll. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Um, well, they can't all be bangers, chat. Yeah. Okay, so we can Great Sand C. Ash Blossom, okay. We've got a cold buy for that. Get Rocky. Then we do the, the Rocky Shocker. The Rocky Shocky. Send brothers. Oh, I just realized we can't do the thing where we search for... I was like, yeah, it's better to do this because then we can search for stuff. And then I'm like, oh wait, we have no way to trigger the genius because we don't have tally-ho. It's a hard once per turn. So instead... We make Redoer got a high win rate when he comes out he does good they've got something they can activate yeah i should have just discarded the tally ho yeah because now i don't even have a way to get a machine in the graveyard even if i search regulus it doesn't do anything yeah we just get another tally ho 
It's not great, but it gets the job done. How would you rate, rate Springins? They're okay. They're like a, um... They're like a 3 out of 5, right? They're good. But they're not, like, amazing. They're kind of linear. They do very similar plays, and their toolbox is limited almost exclusively to this. Well, at least I know I'm less likely to see a... Oh. Another one. I didn't even notice I did lose the coin toss, didn't I? End phase. Yeah. We'll just tag out. And then Sargass was like, did you detach something? Pop the car. But he came back. And then I think we just win, right? Like, this just does everything. Alright, we tally-ho. Ash Blossom. Okay, well that hurts. Uh, let's draw a card. Alright, well they get to survive another turn. Question mark? What? Is it, is it just another one of uh, these and they can't activate it? Oh, I forgot to even... I could activate... I could... I could have activated Sargass the whole time. Fuck it, we get Regulus now. Yep, that would have been game. <laughs> Gobble it up. What did I take? A Kaiju. Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah, I gotta stop that. It was another Numeron wall. Alright, this is our last hope. If they, if the last card in deck... No, wait! Oh, I thought that's what was equipped. I forgot. I'm not dead. Going for clops? Um, unaffected by everything except Dixies. He, he knows I'm an Ixie deck, right, chat? Uh, Golgonda, discard booty, summon Exa Blower. We made critical mistakes and we won anyway. Activate the Exa Blower. Toot toot. Boom. Goodbye. Go in, Springins. Attack for game. Okay, we did it. Despite some some mistakes, we did it. Oh, this is a hand. Pretty much Max E has to solo. Alright, Max E gets me at least a card or two. I need like an evenly to do anything. Well, let's try it. Well, that baits out the crime. Send that to Grave. Um, no, actually. Yeah, let's just use Regulus and grab this out of the graveyard. <laughs> 28 is bigger than 23. I guess they didn't have Soliac after all. Regulus in a dream. Uh, um... I mean, yeah, I've got to negate that. Um, no, I don't think I want you to use Murley. I think I want you to get those Murleys out of here. All right, that's what we like to see. Uh, sure. It's an extra card. Maybe we'll discard it for some. Oh, we can discard it for a Super Poly. Another Rocky. Activate. Special Summon. Um, we just want to make sure that's not Soliac. I'm pretty sure if it was, they would have activated it, but... Better to make certain first. Branga. Chat, I have a feeling this isn't... What's it gotta be? It's gotta be like Heartbeat, right? 
If it was in perm or anything else, they would have act- Yeah. Okay. Well, we got it. We did it. We beat Tier Laments. All right, here we are, stream number three, and uh, we're, we're just gonna continue on. I played very, very little. We're still in plat one. I didn't want to rank into diamond off camera, so there wasn't a whole lot I could do. Just one or two duels to kind of keep my skills up. And we're still not changing the deck. We're still on 1.1, but I mean, our win-loss ratio is like three to one. So I don't think we need to change anything. We're doing really good. So yeah, let's just jump into it and keep grinding. So we've got Golgonda and watch. Go, go, Golgonda! Brothers. Maxi. Son of a bitch! Every time, all the time, what you gotta do when you feel the rhyme? Ah, I see. Good job hitting nothing, idiot. Fuck you, Baltimore! Unless they play Forbidden Droplet, I think we're good. And yeah, we gave them like five cards, but we, we have a pretty targeted out to whatever they want to do. He scream! Why did we dwell her so I could get two materials off of Sargass? Um, did they, did they not read the Abyss Dweller? Why are they milling cards, chat? Are they under the impression they can activate things? Uh, yeah, get wrecked, scrubbing. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, let's do this now. Detach Rocky. Uh, special summon? Yeah. We still special summon the Rocky. And there we go! It's that easy, baby! All you gotta do is make a Dweller and have the, have the Super Poly. Maxi didn't help him. And I just want to say, you know, there are people who, uh, there are people who watch the, the channel and they're like, Wow, Joe complains about Maxi, and then in the videos he always seems to win against it. That's because I only include the duels where I managed to beat Maxi. In between the opening bit you just saw and this duel was about five other duels, every one of which I lost because of Maxi. Except for one, but we don't talk about that one. But the point is, if I lose to Maxi, I generally don't show it because that would be really boring. And the point of this show is to entertain you. I hope you appreciate it. Maybe consider donating to the Patreon if you do. One dollar really helps. Thank you. We didn't get Kit or Golgonda. Sure. Set everything and then go to battle. Come on, you're a Duel Links player. It's in your cup. It's in your blood. Now, oh, do they have the other Lancia in their hand? It appears not. They just set stuff in the main phase? Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. End of the battle phase. Time to make this match a bit more even, wouldn't you say? Mega punished. Interesting. All right, all right. Come on, Golgonga, come on. Well, that's not Golgonda, but it does do it, assuming they don't have an ash. All right, all right. We're branded in the highest spirits. Lancia. Um, okay. I don't think I'm gonna banish anything. Okay, hard make merrymaker. Oh, I could banish the Bronga. I guess it stops the search. Do I want to detach materials? You better believe I want to detach materials. Yeah, we had a brothers. Rocky top. Yo, what up? How's it going? Just do a lot of damage. 
And then we hope their last card isn't evenly matched. <laughs> Even if it's evenly, this sucks, but we can retain the Sargus and then at the end phase we get something else. It is not the evenly. Yo, how's it going? Be a shame if your dweller got abyssed, you know. And there we go. That's what happens when evenly actually works. It's just a matter of getting it when we need it. <laughs> that was lethal if you bounced. It was lethal anyway. Okie dokie, we've been stuck at plat 1 for a while, unfortunately, and it, it's because we're running into a whole bunch of tier lament, against which Super Poly might as well be useless. Uh, we had a bunch of duels where Super Poly wasn't coming up, so we traded it out, and we're just gonna put in some imperms for now. We're just gonna try that, and then because of that we had some room in the extra. I put in Tornado Dragon for back row decks, and someone suggested a Donner. This helps us out something like a Baguska, which has been kind of a problem. This deals with Baguska too. So hopefully this should be slightly better, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. All right, we're going straight from one deck profile into another. I played that previous one for a while, and we just weren't able to make any progress. And unfortunately, it's really just kind of sinking in the big problem with this deck. Which is that in order to do anything, you need a two-card combo, right? You need Golgonda and a Springen. And then in order to stop your opponent from doing anything, if you go second, you need like hand traps and board breakers. And I don't know if we were just really lucky the first two days or if we've just been really unlucky today. But it feels like every time we go first, we're opening on like evenly matched Ash Blossom called by like nothing that lets us play and then every time we go second we're getting like golganga and three springens and we can't do anything because they've got three disruptions and we have nothing that can actually stop it um and i'm not sure what we can do to fix that because it's an inherent part of the deck that you need two cards to do anything um the only real thing we could come up with is we've replaced the imperms and the um the evenlies with bestials uh, the biggest problems we're having are Tier Lament and Branded, and to a lesser extent Sprite, all of which have Dark Monsters in the grave. This will hopefully be able to disrupt them as a hand trap, while also putting something on the field. Kind of one of the problems we had with, like, Imperm is we could Imperm them, but unless we also have the two-card combo to follow it up, we can't do anything afterwards. This way we at least have a monster on board so we can put some pressure into things. At least that's the idea. Um, if we go against a non-dark deck, these are dead because we have almost none ourselves. Uh, but we're going to try it out and see how it works uh, next time. I'm going to do that next time. This I'm done for tonight. Alright, here we are. Dawn of the fourth stream. The official halfway point. We have three streams behind us and three streams left to go. And as is often the case... Some new stuff just appeared. We've got a new normal pack here, uh, Dreaded Conspiracy, which has quite a few interesting things in it. We've got the new Trap Trick support, which I know nothing about. We have the new Generator Boss Monster, which I don't think will make much of an impact. We have the new Dark World stuff, which I know a little bit about, but they pre-hit the hand loop, so we don't have to worry about that. And they've got the new Lady Labyrinth stuff. And based on what I know about the TCG, this is like a tier one meta deck now that it's got, got her. Although I believe that was based at least partially on Floodgates and they've limited a lot of Floodgates in Master Duel. So it might not do as well. Um, meanwhile, Dark Worlds could never quite break into the meta in the TCG. But here in Master Duel, they might be good enough to do so in best of one format. It really depends, although the mirror match for this is awful, so I, I, I have no idea how that will work out. And Trap Tricks, I've heard, is also like at least rogue strong. So we've got a lot of contenders for things that can actually do stuff that might actually impact the climb. What I'm hoping, though, is that since this is the day this has come out, everyone will be learning the deck, no one will be playing it competently, and we'll be able to use that inexperience to grind our way up. Because that happened with Tier Limit. Like, it, when Tier Limits first dropped, we were able to scoot our way way up high because no one knew how what they were doing. Um, so that's the hope here. We'll have to find out, though. Um, because things have changed up so much, 
We're still playing the same deck, the same one that I explained last time, the Springins, but we've just got the, uh, the Bistials here. I believe these should still hurt the Dark Worlds, probably not the Generators so much, or the Trap Tricks, the Trap Tricks are all, all Earth. So we might re-switch these and put back in the, uh, the Evenly match to see how that does against these new ones. But I think we're going to stick with the pure bestials, at least for the first half of today. If that doesn't work, I do have another potential build, which is a blind second one that adds it with Luna Lights. Uh, I'm really unsure about how this works, but if we're getting stalled, we might as well try something crazy. Again, though, for now, sticking with Springins, let's see what we can do. The pressure is on. Yep, let's just activate this now. All right. Let's try the Golgonda. Golgonga go go, Ganga. Summon Merrymaker. Just call me Sergeant Ass. The thing is, we could dodge Nibiru with Redoer, but then we wouldn't do much. So I'm actually going to go for this. See what they have. They've got something. Okay, it's just a bestial of their own. Yeah, and they're getting rid of the sprint. Okay. That's a six. Okay, so we want to use Tornado Dragon. And we want to pop this guy. Yeah, and that's, that's it, isn't it? Yep. Ripperoni. And with that, we unfortunately fall back into flat two. And I guess, yeah, we gotta put fucking evenly back. We were going against all those tiers, so we put in the bestials, and then today it's just been Labyrinth and Pendulum. All right, so after just two duels, we've already been knocked down back into plat two, so we've got to climb even harder, and yeah, it's, it's apparent that a lot of the trap decks are here. So we're just on evenly in perm again. Let's, let's hope this does it. All right, tiny change to the deck. We're removing the Springins trap because we barely used it anyway. It's not a whole great going first. Um, it triggers all the Labyrinth stuff. So we just took out that one card, replaced it with Feather Duster. This is like the first time we've gotten a good hand going first in a million years. Got an Omni Negate. We've got a pop or a bounce. We've got a pop. We've got a search. And we can IP to make something else. What do you got, Air Sezco? Battle phase, okay, end of the battle phase. Evenly matched. All right, we're well, going to have to negate that. And then I think we just banish these three. All right, well, if it's anything I know about trap tricks, it's that they suffer from summoning monsters. So you know what we're not gonna do, chat? We're not going to summon monsters. Uh, Golgonda. And then we're gonna yo ho blow the man down. Target this middle trap. It's in perm. Pop pop. Watch your motherfuckers drop. And there we go. We finally get a win off of one of these trap decks. Oh, this is not a great format. Maybe I will have to put in the red reboots, but I can't OTK is the problem. <laughs> My drains have been thoroughly checked. Ah, fucking Kelbeck. Every fucking time with the Kelbeck. 
That's like the worst thing. Maxi Ash Kelbeck. Any Springen gets us back on the road. We just need a Springen, and Watch would get us like everything if we can get a Watch. If I get another Gold Ganga, I'm gonna shit. All right, that's a Springen's card. Let's go, Great Sand Sea time. All right, all right, we're doing good, we're doing okay. It looks to be like some kind of punk deck. Bestial punk, perhaps. I say don't let them search, we're not. All right, this might be a little presumptuous, but we're gonna try this. They can ash! They can ash the redoer, son of a bitch. I don't even have spells equipped. Oh, they're not crashing? Right sprint. Mud Dragon. Okay. Come on, I need another branded or another spring. That'll do it. Yeah, that's all we needed, baby. That's what we'll take. We got it. What, I'm curious, what the hell was that? Because we saw exactly, what was it just like a, a tier limit, but we didn't see the tier limits? Or are they playing some weird, like, lore deck that's bestial tier punk? I guess? I guess? All right, one more win and we're back up into plat one. We've been on a win streak. We're doing all right. We just gotta keep up the momentum. We just gotta go. We just gotta hope beyond hope. We're going second. Hopefully we can get some of our going second cards. All right. This is this is about as good as it gets. We've got Maxi for monster decks. We've got evenly matched for back row decks. Uh, yeah, we Maxi here. And then we've got Golgondo, Watch, and a name. Okay, they've ashed that. That's that's not great, but it's fine. I have not played against the Trap Trick deck yet where they go first. I do not know exactly what they can make. Okay, set that back down. <laughs> Battle phase. End of battle phase. Activate evenly. Get rid of it. I want all of it out of here. Okay. We are now officially in a good place, but they still have Rafflesia, so they can activate any trap hole from the deck. Activate Golgonda. Let's use Kit first. All right. They're activating it now. And Floodgate Trap Hole. Easy. That doesn't even do much to us. And we hit an Ash. <laughs> so we just do this then, right? And then because a monster detached, we can pop this. And there we go! Back up into, into plat one. We're not quite in diamond, but we've made our way. We have defeated the tricky trap tricks of the trappy tricks. Let's just hope we can somehow find our way more evenlies. Uh, not great, but not awful either. 
And we've got a way to stop Max C, which they almost certainly have here. Activate. Hello there. Kit will special summon. There's the Max C. I knew it, you son of a bitch. Magnificent bastard, I read you like a book. We've got set up for next turn. We've got disruption. If they don't OTK us completely, we should be able to deal with some of their stuff. I just took their other Max C. So we know they're on Max C. Evenly. We should have known. Yeah, and we're going to Sargas to... That way we don't get banished. And then we detach this so it gets banished. And we don't have to banish anything. Optional effect, should we just bounce Sargas a bit? No. Ah, I see. Okay, I almost maxied and I'm glad we didn't. Watch, pretty good. Stella! Okay, so first things first, I'm the greatest. Let's grab Regulus, right? Yeah. Hello there! Gooey Regulus, yeah. Yeah, let's get the Iron Dash. This will be funny, potentially. Called by! Um, if your opponent moves a card out of either player's graveyard. Okay. This doesn't stop Regulus. They saved us from ourselves. They just turned off their own card. Like they would have been able to summon there. Now I have a negate for the back row. Yeah, we just let it. That way we can retain the gate and the negate. And we just attack over them. And then, then they have less, less chance that they'll draw a monster on the next turn. People are pointing out in the comments, they messed up so bad. If they didn't evenly, oh. Well, I mean, now I'm gonna negate. But yeah, if, if they had, if, if instead of chaining the um, called by to Regulus, if they had chained the Vadis, I would have taken a monster out of the graveyard and then they would have gotten like three summons. Granted, I could have uh, max seed there them, but damn, they could have they could have gotten so they could have triggered like so many effects, and uh, at least I, I think so if I'm understanding them right. Hey, let's actually look at this real quick. So they could have chained this, summoned two, and then at resolution I move a card out of the graveyard and like yeah I have one negate, but they get to summon three three Ixie monsters. They could have made a lot of plays, done so many things. They done goofed it. Not great. But we do have combo. We'll use high spirits. Put Branga. Brothers to me! The Sarg. Yeah, we had this. Considering all the trap decks, I think we go on to Redoer. Um, we could Redoer now. What could we search? We could get Golganda. We could Golganda and just make a Merrymaker. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're gonna activate Redoer now. Fuck it, we ball. Then we can activate Branga. Booty, because it can't be Ashed. I mean, if they had Ashed, they would have used it by now. But we retain the watch for later. We activate the Sand Sea. We haven't triggered Brothers yet, so Brothers gets back Rocky. 
Fuck it, do we make Abyss Dweller too? Statistically, it should be useful. And then Redoer comes back. Alright, so we've got a pretty good board set up here. Extremely vulnerable to evenly matched. And we're up against Labyrinth. End phase. We will activate Sargas. We will detach a material from Dweller because it doesn't seem to be very useful. We're going to try to destroy Redoer because we have to destroy a face down card. I'm realizing now I could have just used Redoer. I don't know why I'm going through all these convoluted steps. For some reason I was like, I've got to find a way to trigger Sargass. How am I getting only monsters against Labyrinth? All right, they've got one thing left. Oh yeah, we get Regulus every time. Okay, so while you control a set card, your opponent cannot target this and it can't be destroyed. We'll use Brothers. We'll equip it to Merrymaker. Then we'll Tally Ho to detach from Merrymaker. That will trigger this. We'll just destroy the only set card. All right, so now we can target this with effects. The problem is I need to clear some room. Oh, wait, there's a really easy way to clear room here. Okay, so we make a second Sargass. And then we can use this. We discard the kit because we want to retain the brothers. Let's get blowing, baby! Ex-a-blower! Ex-a-blower! Yeah, we attach Sargass. And we've got even more attack! Alright, target this zone. Detach two. Foomp! Hits in the middle. Destroys both. And then we go in for the battle, baby! 2,800! 2,800! Go, go, Dweller! And then we exa blow them away! Do, 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 do! <laughs> Lucy Goosey, can we get our combo? Springin and a Golgonda. That is a Springen and a Golgonda. Watch and learn. Oh, hello again, it's you. All right, all right, we good, we good. Brothers. We know what to do from here. We fought tier limits many times before. Fuck! Brothers can still equip. Send the non-dark monster, even though they already have one and it's fine. Uh, no. I didn't know it could do that, chat! I didn't know this was a tuner! Alright! And just in time, just what I needed. Hello there, Golgonda says hi. Discard a kit, begin the summoning all over again. Time to get merry with our maker. But we built a pretty good board. And then we make... 
The one game in a hundred you wish for the second dweller. I wish there was some extra deck monster that like negated spell traps, but that's actually really hard to get. But we have a pop and a bounce. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just do this and maybe they'll surrender. Well, they hit Sheeran. Alright, I'm pretty sure we survive this if we let them hit the Redoer. 23, oh no. Don't tell me. They've still got the snow, don't they? It was that last game. Okay. End of the battle phase! Time for this match to get a little more even, Tear Lament! Get them out of here! Get them all out of here! You get to keep one, baby, and I got a full hand! Alright, what do we got? What does this actually do? Okay, so I just gotta not activate the uh, brothers here. Womp! Brothers, hop aboard! I think they could actually stop this with Mudora if they wanted to. Boom. Uh, what do they got? Just Mudora, right? This is game? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Boop, 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 boop. We did it. All right, it's been a long couple of days and there's no guarantee this will be it, but we're one duel away from Diamond. Will we have what it takes? Can we push our way into the upper echelon? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, this ash has to go hard. This ash has to be absolutely brazy. They're gonna be like, can I ask a question? I'm gonna be like, no, but you can ash a question. And then we hit him with the ash. <gasps> Is that one pass? There's a shot. There's a chance. Send the tally-ho. All right. Summons good. Get in the merrymaker. Brothers says hello. Get the Rocky out. Then the gates are down. Wow, you waited a while on that Max C. Fortunately, I have an ash for that. They're thinking. They're thinking awfully hard. Does the winning the maxi minigame win me the game game? And it does! That's all you had to do! Ash the maxi, ash the maxi, bug spray to the left, bug spray to the right. Hit it with the bug spray and you go up all night into Diamond 5, Diamond 5, and I feel alive, feel alive. Da -da 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 Hey, let's go. All right, we will not go quietly into the night. We're halfway and we've made it at least into Diamond. So it's, you know, it's better than Galaxy Eyes. Will we be able to make it further? I don't know. I'm kind of doubtful, but but we'll see. So you know how I said I was going to be grinding up over the weekend? Well, it turns out that that didn't really happen. We're, we're still in Diamond 5. I didn't get a chance to play like I was hoping to. So we're just going to have to make the best out of today and the next stream. We've got two more streams to try to run into Master. Hopefully we can make it there. Not, not really certain, though. Uh, I have been looking at other builds of the deck, and there's really just nothing that seems to be better than the pure build. Um, we could maybe change out the tech cards, put in some red reboots or something if we end up running into a whole bunch of Labyrinth. But otherwise, I mean, it got us where we are. And as the month goes on, usually it becomes a little easier to climb as all the best players already reached Master. So maybe we'll be able to do it. I believe in us. Let's try as we jump in to the second to last day. I see. Um, hmm. Okay, so we imperm this. It'll keep them off of draws, or they'll use a, like a solemn or a spell trap negate now, if they have it. Duster time. Dustin makes me feel good. 
Okay, there's the judgment. Tally ho. We'll grab Branga so we can discard it. Branded in high spirits. Reveal the Branga. Add kit. Activate Regulus. Equip the Branga. Solemn strike. All right. Uh, they've got another strike. We just summon this normally. Battle phase. So I think we just add a Rocky from our deck to our hand. Uh, the app I knew it was another strike. They're like, nah. All right, they are very low. If they do not get a monster or some way to stop an attacks, they are dead. And they are dead. So there we go. Oh, Thunder Dragon? No, Despia. Oh, they got a Kelbeck. A Kelbeck! Masquerade. Oh, there's both my called buys. They know they don't have to worry about that. All right, does evenly go brazy here. Let's prepare to braze. I'm brazy on you. Just so brazy on you. The blazing dragon. So they just kept they just kept that. Then they've got a monster negate because we know they have the thing in hand. Uh real quick, does the thing it just negates, it doesn't destroy, right? Negate that effect. Okay. Paying the toll! It sucks because I could extend so far, but I don't think I could afford the life points. They can't use the bird. Oh! So let me think about this. Thank you, Nightfire, for the tier one sub. I need to attach to, summon Sargass, search with Sargass, and then Tally Ho, attach, attach, search, Tally Ho, Sargass effect. So that's five effects, five times, 600, 3,000. So I can afford to do it and I'd have 800 left. That's exactly as many as I need. Uh, maybe I shouldn't tally, maybe I don't need to necessarily do both. We could Tally Ho for one. Tally ho. Going to tally up them hoes. Just one. Kit. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't attach both because I was wrong. I forgot about the kit effect. Okay, destroy. No, it goes back into the extra deck. Okay, I am critically low on effects, but I think we're fine. We don't need our life points to win. And we know one of theirs is useless. So basically just whatever they top deck, Regulus negate and we're fine. All right, they have more things they can do. I should have Abyss Dwellered from the start. Yeah, we just let them have that. That way in case they opened with a branded fusion. Oh wait, I could have done, okay, whatever. We can destroy it. Yeah, we should have destroyed it. We, we're making we're making critical errors. Bird. Yeah, I'll stop that. Do I get even lead as well? Okay, no, good. All right, high stakes game. Both of us knocking at the door to plat four, and we're diamond four. We finally win a coin toss. We haven't won a coin toss all freaking day, but now the coin is in our court. Fuck you! But we've still got the ability to do stuff, and we've got... Oh, what are they got? Maxi? We've got, we've got Maxi insurance. Okay, so let's hit him with that booty. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Get it all out of here. Give me that booty. Pretty sure you can't ash this because it activates from deck, doesn't search it. Come on. Oh, it's just an Ash Blossom. I still have no idea what they've got. It hasn't resolved yet. So... I target a face up. Oh, this doesn't work. Ah, tricky. Uh, let's pop one that's separate. Ah, Ice Dragon. Pretty nice. Alright, so they got some traps and stuff and things. Ah, I'm being punished! Yeah, getting rid of that before I could tag it out. And then that destroys Sargas. Okay. Normal summon. Let's grab back the brothers. Okay, so if they have, if this is like a floodgate, then this plays around it. We could be like, negate the sand sea and whatever that is. And because it's already face up, it shouldn't be affected by it. But activate this. Uh, let's get the X blower. Uh, summon back Rocky. It has more attack. Big welcome. I don't think that helps you here, kneecap. Because we can equip Big Sargass or Young Sargass. Yeah. Give it more attack. Normal summon this. Make Merrymaker. Go into thing. Search thing. And there we go. With 52 wins under our belt, we rank up into Diamond 4. <laughs> Great. Well, I mean, I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. You get to a rank down game and they get your one of with the ash. Yeah, yeah. All right, once more, we are knocking on the door to Diamond 4. We were there once, we got knocked back down. We get to go first. I'm not putting on the glasses. We haven't earned it, not until we go to Diamond 3. Ugh. This is a really going second kind of hand, but Kit plus any Springins is still full combo. A soup. <laughs> Assuming this resolves, let's get it. Let's do it. Oh, you ain't, you ain't doing that. Okay. Uh, okay. How about now you get popped? Destroy it? Um, uh, no, no, I don't think I will. Good luck drawing. I hope you have more cards in hand you can use. So they've got two fountains and what's the last card in hand? Tip. Fuck. Why don't we use Unicorn? Because it rarely comes up. Uh, let's do this. Book of Eclipse! Oh, why, thank you. There can be only one. 
Keep Sargus. Yo, what up? You milled a lot of cards, but you ain't milled this one. Get them all out of here. All right, we're in a fairly good position. How much attack does Hoogan have again? All right, normal summon. It's blowing time. Rocky, and there we go, it's that easy. All you gotta do is top deck the Harpy's Feather Duster and you're golden. Ha-cha-cha, wait, was that? Oh yeah, that was our rank up. Okay, we're back into Diamond Four. I got, I got so disgusted with all the runic stuff, I forgore. Come on, don't brick, don't brick, don't brick, don't brick, don't brick, don't brick. Ooh, that's a close one. No, sir, I don't like it. We've already got the Sargass, so let's just add... Special summon it? No. Okay, we've got an Ash, an Omni, a Bounce, and a Negate. Or a Bounce and a Pop. Ash, Omni, Bounce, and Pop. What you gonna do when you hit the rock? Oh, uh, yeah, we Ash that. Ash the Martha. Ash the Martha. I really don't like it. Boom, ba -da boom, ba -da boom. If they don't do that, they have to normal summon to... Yeah. Pain without love, pain can't get enough. Normal Martha. Why would you do that at the end of the battle phase? Well, I guess you can't get even lead anyway. What if I removed your material? They're like, the fuck? They're like, ah, but you're gonna move the stuff out of the graveyard. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Get off of there, Martha. Do I still have that in the graveyard? Yes, but I can't use it this turn. Uh, yeah, we just hope. All right, 3,000. Really need that evenly. If I could if I could just top deck evenly. I know I asked for evenly a lot, but evenly now would be really good, please. Please. Please, I've been good. I just want to be in Diamond 4. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's so nice of you to do that. Let's let's go <laughs> to battle thing. Uh, end of battle phase. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I appreciate it. Hopefully they can keep me out of going back into Diamond 5. Alright, alright, alright. Let's tally-ho, shall we? Grab the kit. The thing is still in our graveyard, so we should be able to special summon the kit. And we can normal summon brothers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Merrymaker. Time to make merry. Howdy, howdy. Activate. Oh, wait, we don't even have to wait till next turn. I just realized. Booty gets Golconda. Summon the blower. And there we go. We did it. And all we had to do was top deck evenly at the right time. <laughs> Woo, that was...
was that was a close one. We almost slid back, but we we came out and did it. Thank you, Konami. Our, thank you, RN Jesus. I never used to believe, but then the number generated the number I needed randomly. Ah, none of my going second tools. Unfortunate. Sky Striker. All right. I might be able to beat Sky Strikers. Called by really helps. Oh, that's it. All hand traps, I assume. They're just hoping I can't kill them. All right. The Sand Sea cometh. The Sand Sea activateth. No! <laughs> No, I have to. I have to. I can't believe they're playing fucking Ghost Ogre. Fucking Ghost Ogre. That's like the one thing that annihilates this deck. Ash is... I could deal with Ash. I could deal with uh, Imperm. I could deal with most things, but not but that. No. Activate this. Yeah, I think we just want to destroy the modules. Oh, we could just make Dweller, and then they can't bring back their fucking ray. Hello there. It seems you have a ray you would like to summon from the graveyard. It would be a shame if someone disallowed you from doing that. Let's summon Kit. Ah! I see! My entire asshole? Unfortunate. Yeah, I think we add the watch. Uh, we could activate the watch this time, but we don't really want to. Yeah, I mean, I should have expected. They're playing all the spell, tra or all the hand traps. They're playing Ghost Bell. They're playing Ghost Ogre. They're playing Nibiru. Every hand trap? Every hand trap. They've only got two spells in Grave, though, so that's good. Huh, does that count itself now so they get to blow up my back row? That's bullshit. Only 11 cards left. No. Rocky add back kit. Unfortunate. Yeah, we just activate this now. All right, I hit the Widow Anchor. They didn't steal it. Why didn't they steal it? Searchy, searchy. Another one. Can you deck them out? Not anymore. They've got one spell left. Let's go redo her. We're gonna activate Tally Ho. We're gonna detach from Sargas. Oh, your effect is negated. The Zeus Caboose is on the loose! I should have known they'd have that. I was like, what hand trap can they possibly have? Okay. Set and set. How did Striker make that rank eight? Just 
detach from both. Yeah, of course they've got an ash. Ah. Still got a warrior left in the deck. Yeah, I think we're dead, but there's a chance they can't necessarily kill us this turn. Um, they are very confident. I know their new card is pretty good, but can they OTK through 8,500? Twenty-five. Go into this. Fifteen. Then this is the last one. Can they do forty-five hundred? They have a lot of spells, so that Kagari is good. That's not Kagari. That was the last. They used all three, right? Wait, doesn't this summon in defense mode? But it cannot attack. to be an upstart goblin i need to start upping and they never stopped the self tk twas hubris killed the beast oh yeah literally one nibiru one goger two valor one of these i was like how are they fitting in all these hand traps one of each we just got really unlucky well here we are, folks. It's the final day. The last chance to reach Master, and we're at Diamond 3. And, you know, in some ways, I feel kind of bad, because we played this whole month, and there, there may be a couple of builds of, of Springins, and we're still on version 2. We still haven't really changed. And I don't think you could really blame me for that, because if you look at our win rate, we have like a 61% win rate. This is one of the best win rates I've had in this whole series. We're just not getting as many duels in as normal. Part of that's my fault. I wish I had been able to go during the weekends and I just hadn't been able to find time. I've been busy with my other side projects and stuff. I have a political channel, by the way. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but if you aren't, you can find a link down in the description. I make content over there. I'm a little bit more passionate about that than Yu-Gi-Oh! Although Yu-Gi-Oh! is still fun and I'm glad I can keep people entertained. But uh, making stuff for that kind of divides my attention. But something that someone else pointed out that's kind of interesting is that um, during this episode, we've had very few surrenders. And that's kind of increased the duel timer. Not as much as like tier limit, of course, but it, it really does kind of point out the interesting duel nature of having a deck that no one's really familiar with. Because Springin's not one of the most played decks, not even probably in the top 10. And you have a lot of advantages there because people don't know what your deck does. They don't know how to counter it. They don't know what cards to hit. You know, we've got a lot of people who will ash like the Merrymaker, not knowing that we could easily search Tally Ho, and that's the bigger ash target. Um, but as a side effect of that, that also means that people don't realize when they've lost the game. They're, every time I start to combo, I have to go through the whole combo People actually try to play it out before they realize they, they're they screwed. And when you're playing a more popular deck, uh, that doesn't happen as much. There's a lot of times where you play other decks where you build the board and people are like, oh, okay, and then they just surrender. So I think to make up for that, we're gonna try to go long today. I've decided I am going to stream until, until we hit master or until we hit midnight. I will stream for the whole rest of the day. I hope you appreciate it. We're gonna run up, we're gonna try not to get distracted, and hopefully we'll be able to bring Champion Sargass into master rank where he belongs. This is like Golgonda and every Springins card. And Max Seed. 
We had the we had the biggest combo and we got max seed. I think we could still add this. We're just gonna have to do it the the kit way because that does it in less summons. We only gave him pot of greed. Okay, it sucks to have to do this, but I think this is our only potential hope. Oh wait, we can do both. Because popping this does help at this point. Unless they have exactly another name in hand that they want to discard. Oh. Super Poly. Well. Oh. They're using it on their own. So we're gonna use this. Rukulos can't attack this turn. Um, I'm gonna use this. Rukulos can't activate its effects this turn. You've been bootied and Golgonded. Millen five makes me feel alive. My heart beats in hyperdrive. Wait, are they playing fucking laundry? Just a mill three? Oh, hey, I hit brothers. This is my brothers. There we go. Brothers. What did they target this again? They targeted the Golgonda. That's fine. I can send Booty to get it back. Bring him, bring him kick Kalos back? Okay. So many things. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. Tally ho, and we bring back the brothers. You play through all this stuff? Probably not. Uh, we can equip Sargas. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. No. What are they? Fusion summoning. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yeah, we gotta stop that. Flip. Okay. Sargas? They allowed the search, chat. Hold up. We activate Tally Ho. We detach Sargas. Detach the Sargas from the Sargas. Trigger the Sargas. Bound Rukulos. Battle phase. All right. Uh, let's go, get rid of the Soliac. This either baits it out or removes it entirely. Okay, it comes back. Get the Rhino Heart for next turn. And what are they doing with the Havness is the question. They make another, they just remake Rukulos. Yeah. Okay, so now I can booty. The Great Sand Sea return. Um, oh. Yeah, I guess we get back Sargass. Ooh, let's put, uh, Rocky on there. Uh, set.
Oh, uh, this has already used its effect. Yeah, we get rid of the Rupalos. Oh, they sent Merly and it's still negated by called by. Not quite over yet. If we get a Rocky, that's a rank four. Yeah. That helps. We just we just gotta hope they don't hit anything with this scream. If they do, it triggers Kaleido Heart. Ah fuck. <laughs> oh, they didn't hit an Aqua Monster, but they did hit Kelbeck. Well, if Kelbeck hits... Oh, wait. Nah, yeah, we just we just stopped that. Fuck you. Fuck your Kelbeck. Get that shit out of here. I don't want to have to deal with it. No more mills for you. Okay. Special summon kit. All right. Going to Merrymaker. Uh, Merrymaker, send brothers. Brothers, activate! We bring back Sargass. Activate Rocky. Activate Brothers. Everyone climb aboard! It's champion time! Activate. We're going to get Tally Ho! Tally Ho, Springins! One, two, three, yes. Uh, add the only one left to hand. Special summon? Oh, you better believe it. Everyone comes out. Okay, that triggers the Sargass. Bounce the Kaleido Heart. Destroy? No. You're gone, buddy! And then, Dweller? We'd have to crash, is the problem. Dweller or we could Goddess. That negates everything on the field. Uh, no, we make Dweller. We just gotta hold on. We don't have to worry about winning the game right here, right now. Okay, and then as soon as their turn starts, we're going to activate Dweller. So no, no effects in the graveyard this turn. No, not yet. And then we're going to activate Sargass. We're going to detach from the champion. That'll pop the scream, which no longer gets its effect. That'll activate champion, which will bounce the kit Kalos. Oh wait, no, we'll just destroy it. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Mill five? You can't. Field cleared. <laughs> oh, the power of the Springins. All they've got is a set card! Is this it, chat? Is, oh, you ju you're just in time, buddy! Yes! Come back in the century! Take that, tier lament! Oh, the double E. Gee, Billy, how come your mom lets you have two evenlies? Our only hope is that they, like, surrender after this. Do they have evenly in their deck? Infinite <laughs> impermanence. <laughs> Not quite. Well, if they grab the Albaz out of their graveyard, that means that this is pretty much off. Or not off, but the second half of it. What? They traded it for Dragos Depelia, chat. Why would you why would you do that? Oh, okay. My motivations are a mystery. All right. The sea is grand. Merrymaker sends brothers. They're negating the Merrymaker chat. They don't know. Uh, the question is, do we still attach? 
Because then the tally ho. No, I think we're gonna have to lose it. It'll be fine. Okay. Yo, what up? Infinite Shay! Thank you! Ah, they were saving the ash for that. Maybe they did know. But they didn't know we had this. We'll send the royal. I don't need it. Tally ho! Uh, yeah. They have something else they can. Oh, they probably have a bestial. No, I just got another one, right? I mean. I'm gonna do this, and we're going to pop the Dragos to Pelican. Yeah, they do still have quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. The question from here is, what rank 4 do we make? If we get a trap, that's a way to deal with the Druus Worm. It's unlikely, but it's something. Captain! I just need a trap. Give me one of the few traps you got here. <laughs> well, it's not a trap, but that's a pretty good thing to get off the top. <laughs> oh? Yeah, I guess we use this here. Detach this. Pop. Uh, yep. Unfortunate, but we'll get to retain this. Adios! May Ice Jade, yeah. Uh, Effective Golgonda, yeah, sure. I like not being attacked, that's pretty neat. Thank you, Great Sand Sea, you occasionally do amazing things for me. And if you don't know, if an Ixie monster leaves by a card effect, you can uh, target a monster and it can't attack this turn. But it came back. All right, one time trap. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, the Golgonda kind of screws me a little bit here. Sorry, Redoer. Rebellion. Yeah, now we can. Go, go, Merrymaker. Go, go, brothers. Oh, wait, no, no, we get Bronga. What am I thinking? Yo, Bronga. Bronga, we're going to banish one of the kits. We're going to get Springin's Watch, baby. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Send to the graveyard or add to hand, Rocky. Send to the graveyard, brothers. Brothers effect. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're gonna get this back. Activate. We just gotta search another tally ho so we can use it at the start of their turn. Bounce back. Yeah. This isn't great, but it'll do. Oh fuck! I should have. I should have called by that a million times. I forgot. Oh wait, no, it's fine. Okay, so during, before they can fuse, we're gonna do this. Detach the brothers. I'm going to pop the Cartesia. They're thinking, they're cooking something up. Grandmaster Chef over here preparing a delicious meal. Pop, pop. Activate Sargas. Target you. Destroy, no, bounce. Is the hand no? It's Brandon in red and a mystery. Only use one Aluber effect per turn. Okay, so they can negate that. That's fine. I think unless it's exactly branded fusion in hand, we're good. There's the branded in red. And there's the cold buy on the Albaz. Get him out of here. Your effect is fizzled. All right, what's the last card in hand? Springin's Kit! No, why you betray me, Kit? Do they have a rank four? Can they Zeus from here? 
Uh, I mean, you can add one to hand, but then you immediately have to put it back. Add branded fusion. Return branded fusion. <laughs> Verte! Oh fuck! Oh shit! That's why they put it back! Mirror Jade returns. They're back! Yeah, we're gonna activate this now. Add a Rocky. Put the monster on the field. More defense! Oh, beating over that. Excellent, excellent. All right, check it. Rocky says hello. Rocky, get back. Kit. And now it's time. You know her, you love her. Underworld Goddess of the Closed World! Goodbye, everyone! I'll remember you all in therapy! During the end phase, I will be destroyed, but that doesn't matter! We discard the brothers! We bring out the X-Blower! Uh, we're gonna activate this anyway, just to make sure. Champion Sargass will watch! As we go into the battle phase, and we Krungus them for their life points. All the life points. Every last life point. There isn't going to be an end phase. Alright, ladies and non-ladies, we're on to D2. The Mighty Ducks are back. We've lost the coin toss, but that hasn't stopped us before. Hope we get some good go second tools. Well, we've got an evenly matched. And we got the ability to do both of our opening combos. So if we evenly match and they end on like one disruption, we can put out the Golgonda. And if they negate it or whatever, then we can do kit things. Oh, Dark World. Uh, you know, ever since they came out, I have not actually seen them. This is all the other new decks, the, uh, the Labyrinth, the Trap Tricks, even the, uh, Generators we've seen, but I haven't seen a single person playing Dark World yet. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. To attack. Use your IP now or forever hold your IPs. Firewall Dragon. Why would you play that and not Avramax? Ouch. Uh, end of the battle phase. Let's go! Time to even up the score! Oh, okay. All according to Kaiku. All your negates mean nothing now! Nothing, you hear! Alright, what's in the grave? Yeah, and we try to see if we can bait the Ash right here by going for Watch. We'll just banish one of our brothers. It's Watch time! Watch and learn! And they didn't want to learn, chat. They spent a million years comboing and I, they didn't do it. And they're probably sitting there like, if only like my luck was so bad, if I had gotten into the Graph of Fusion, 
and we had two evenlies. So even there, their Omni Negate would have been met with another evenly. Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles, but there you go. We rank up into Diamond 2. Just, just one more rank chat. Hopefully we can break into Master before the end of the day. All right. If I'm gonna go second, this is the kind of hand you like to see. Branded Fusion, Maxi. Um, we still evenly this, right? Yeah, battle phase, end of battle phase. Evenly. Of course they banish that, why wouldn't they? Also I have the Imperm. Hello, I'm sorry, your life is sad. I didn't mean to make it sad, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, the only benefit, of course, is that there's booty. Does that negate and destroy? Negate that effect. Yeah, that's fine. Behold! We are the champions! We are the champions! No time for mirrors, cause we are the champions of the world. That's unusual. Titanic lad? You don't see that very often. No. Bounce. What does this do? Oh yeah, I do have to do that because they'll Albaz in the end phase and I can't, I can't abide by such a thing. Yo, what up, piss baby? <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I think we just ended here. Ah, uh, okay. So now we might have a problem. There's really nothing we can do about that, is there? Do they windmill slam the branded fusion? Oh no. Oh, just pop them. Yeah, good point. I knew there was a reason we put this on Merrymaker. All according to Kaiku. Yep, I was, I was expecting this. Now we can use the Merrymaker, banish itself. They can negate. I'll negate. Merrymaker leaves. Activate Golgonda. If you thought you were attacking over my Appaloosa, you are sorely mistaken, good sir! Good day to you! Come back another time! <laughs> Golgonda, Golgonda, here we go! Golgonda, Golgonda, what do you know? Secret Golgonda effect, yeah. Let's just... Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want to have to deal with your types today. Uh, all right. This is max combo, but we have nothing to stop the maxi if they have it. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and use this while we can. Um, okay, they didn't land on one. Send to the graveyard, brothers. Okay. We messed up somewhere. We could have done a better combo. I might be getting a little tired. Yeah, the problem with the kit combo, you need a machine in hand, and I searched this instead. Do we blow up the Havness to deny them a material on board? And then we just hope they don't have evenly. No. 
No, I don't think I want you to do that. I don't think they have evenly if they're using that. Unless they're stupid. You know, they might just be stupid. They got a Guido. A Guido! Necro face. What shenanigans are you up to? It's Thunder Tear Chaos. Oh, you fool! You foolish, foolhardy fool! You played into the imperm column! Get mega punished! <laughs> you shan't be taking my monster today! Elf. Elf on a shelf. Elf on a shelf. Protoss? Oh no. Oh, don't tell me. Son of a bitch! It's a gosh darn level two! Yuck. Oh man, top decking that would have been great. Just activate a bunch of Thunder Dragons. what attribute they call him. Water. They didn't want to call fire because they had a fire. All right, we not doing great, but we not doing bad either. Do they have any thunder? They have so many thunders. Well, that gets, that makes my choice really easy. We force this out now. You got to IP now, reveal what you got or you're doomed. Ah, I see. Bring back that, send Kelbeck, mill five. Oh wait, no, Kelbeck's already gone. Oh wait, no, that's two Kelbeck. Uh, yeah, we need to save this for the Mascarena. They didn't get shit, and I got a brothers. Thank you for the mills, I appreciate it. That's what happens when you got a 60 card deck. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna activate this, discard the Branga. We're gonna summon X Blower. Toot, 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 toot. I'm the rootinest, tootinest, blowinest card you've ever seen. Fire the cannon. So we activate this. We're gonna select this zone. Yeah, we're not targeting Thundra. And we're not targeting the stuff that Sprite Elf points to. Yeah, Mascarena gets negated. Blower, we're gonna detach two. Select two cards to destroy. Boom! You've activated my Sargass. Destroy, no. Back to the extra deck with ye. Now I can search. Activate effect. Can't be used as link material the turn it summoned. But what about other turns? 84, we're going in. Underworld Goddess. Sargus. And the X-Blower. Victory. One more win to Diamond One. Let's all go to Diamond One. Critters here for Diamond One. Saying things and having fun. <laughs> We're going to Diamond One. Oh, 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 best hand. Number one hand. Go, go, Gonda. Go watch. Unless they have like Ash Maxi, I think we're good. And we've got both Sargasses, which represent a pop and a bounce. Pop, bounce, negate, negate attack, Omni negate, three monster negates, negate graveyard. I think unless they have double evenly or like evenly fucking um, lightning storm, we're good. Maybe the ball? It's birds. It's not birds. Add one labyrinth? Um, yeah, I'll stop that. I want you to have a labyrinth. Um, no. No, I don't think you're going to do that. 
Nah, I'd like you to disappear, please. Come on. Yeah, that's it. I could see that red light blinking. Just surrender. It would be so much easier. I have all the disruption. Yes! All right, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We're not even at the four hour, I mean, we are at the four hour mark, essentially, but we didn't go extra and we're at diamond one. I'm still prepared to go two more hours, see if we can rank our way up into master. Do you think we can do it, Critter? Yeah! All right. Aw, oh, come on, well. <laughs> You live by the sword, or you live by the trap, you die by the trap. Show me Solemn Johnson. Ah. We're getting him. Why is Johnson so solemn? He's sad. Uh, all right, you know what? 500. Uh, no. No. Get that out of here. Oh, fine. I'll activate the other. Come on, coward. Spell cards. I'll activate this while I got it. Now they know I have evenly, and they should f they should fear me. B M. Bonky Kong. B M. Bonky Kong is here. Captain Sargass to you. Magnumut. Gonna find it hard to use that Magnumut. You know what? I feel like the Necro Valley is hurting them almost as much as it's hurting me. Maybe more. <laughs> All right. They were too afraid. You know, the funny thing about this, right, is that I can't actually pull monsters out of the graveyard, but I don't have to in order to summon... Oh, I guess I do. Oh, they're not dead. Two back rows. What do they got? Battle phase. Um, you can't use that under Necro Valley. Let this, yeah, let this be a lesson to you, chat. You live by fear, and you're just gonna die. It's not enough to make sure your opponent doesn't win, or can't kill you. You have to win. You, you can't just hide behind floodgates and expect it to do all the work for you. All right, let's take it off the top and see what we can get. It's a trap deck. We got a trap. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. Yo. God damn. Goddamn motherfuckers coming in here with Lava Golem! Gee, Billy! How come your mom let you have two Lava Golems? I, nothing has ever been more impermed in my entire life. Time to hard make champion. <laughs> Time to hard make Exablower! Two level eights! After I take 2,000, of course. Ouch. My most of me. You know what though, chat? I think, I think it's possible we've got other stuff. So let's play this reasonably safe, shall we? Let's tally-ho now. Let's get this. Let's activate the effect. Yep, that's what I thought. 
Anyway, Brothers Effect, summon Rocky. Rocky Effect, grab back Brothers. <laughs> you thought you were gonna keep me off of rank four. I'm coming for that rank four, buddy. One way or another. Oh, do I, do I make the Tornado Dragon? No, we need to get more, we need to out-resource them. We need to make sure they can't get anything. I'm out of, I'm out of monsters. <laughs> Everyone get aboard the Merrymaker. Sargash, you too. You got freezing curses or something in there? No? Alright. Hi there. Be a shame if your last card got negated. No, that's why I attacked with this guy first. Yeah! Yeah, get out of here! Double Lava Golem fuck bastard rolling up on here! Fuck it, got him, fucker! <laughs> got him! Ugh! Oh, I'm tired! One hour later. Alright, ladies and non-ladies, it is 2 a.m. I have been here for eight hours. This is my fourth time trying to get into Diamond. And uh, my fourth time losing the coin toss trying to get into Diamond. It all depends on what my opponent has and what they do. Activate Springen's Watch in order to get Great Sand Sea. And then I'll discard the Young Sargass. Oh. Oh, I see. This is very unfortunate. Evenly going to go nuts, potentially. I can at least get rid of the back rows. Let me just uh, activate this. If you'd get rid of all your back row, I would appreciate it. Ah, solemn judgment. Very good. That would be great at protecting both of your other back rows. Um, unfortunately for you, um, I am a skilled player who has drawn the second evenly matched. So, let us try this again, and this time I hope you send your back row to the graveyard as I requested previously. Unless you have a second Solemn you would like to break out. No. So, I can do this. And I don't believe they can hand trap me because they don't control an extra deck monster. I can activate the Great Sand Sea and discard Captain Sargass. But... I will not activate the effect of Merrymaker. Instead, I will rank up into Champion Sargass. I could have summoned Exablower. The problem is, right, is that I would use a monster effect to equip a monster to him, and that would be my only monster effect for the turn. So what I need to do is get Sargass, use Sargass to get Tally Ho, and then during the opponent's turn, I can activate Tally Ho, and then I'll, I'll be able to activate one monster effect, which is Sargass, which will pop this. Yeah, I think that'll work. Just in case they have a Kaiju, I really don't want to miss this opportunity. Rocky has 1800. That's a good amount. Yeah, I'll summon Sargass because it has 2800. It doesn't have an effect that might get in the way. Once he's on the field, that will trigger the champion, who will target his monster and destroy it. Yes. Of course, there's a chance that they have a um, evenly of their own, or perhaps a lava golem with a mirror force. Unfortunate. So any future copies they have, assuming, I mean, if all they ever have in their hand is Inspector Boy. I think we're pretty good with only two cards. They can Raigeki, but we can rebuild. Maybe, oh, well that's even better. I was like, I can use Rocky to grab back the Great Sand Sea, but it appears that I won't even have to do that. Unless it's, I don't know, Waking the Dragon or something? I'm trying to think of what they would summon off of Waking the Dragon. All right. And with that, at long last, the, the power of calm thinking, I believe, has pulled us through. Heroic champion Sargass can go forward 
and prove that he's indeed the heroic champion we thought he was. With 2800, we lower our opponent's life points together. Both Sargasses, the past and the future, having the power. And with that, finally, after eight hours, we get a deck into Master 5. It's finally Jover. We finally made it, and we get 300 gems for our efforts. And and I wish, you know, things could be more hype, but you, could, you, could only, you can't always get what you want, you know? You could either have hype Joe, or you could have Joe who's up really late grinding into Diamond. We got, or not Diamond, into Master. We got Master! So, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you would appreciate it. I'll remind you once more to consider checking out the Patreon. You could join my Discord for just one dollar. Otherwise, I'm going to throw it to end screen Joe, who's maybe a little less tired. And with that, ladies and non-ladies, we reach the conclusion of this episode. In the end, we made it to Master 5, and you know what? We probably could have gone even further. Not only does this deck have one of the best win rates of the entire Ladder Climb series, but it accomplished that with the fewest changes required to the deck. If we had started in Diamond, or spent a few more days grinding, or really sat down and optimized all the tech cards in this thing, we probably could have gotten to High Master, maybe even Master 1. I mean, don't get me wrong, Spring is just not the best deck by any means. The fact that most of its plays require a two-card combo means it's actually behind the curve when compared to things like Labyrinth, Branded, and Tier Lament. Still, it can hold its own against those decks, especially when no one knows what Springins do or how to counter them. In that way, this deck as it exists now is the epitome of a rogue deck. It's powerful enough to compete at the highest levels, but only as long as it's not popular. <laughs> as soon as this deck starts showing any big numbers, people will learn to ash the tallyho or imperm the Sargus, and then it's over. Uh, still, it was fun to play, it's a fun deck for the time, and it should maintain its level of power for at least a few months more. So if you could pick up this deck for cheap, consider giving it a try while it's still relevant. But anyway, now that it's both the end of the month and the end of the episode, let's take a moment to think like an engineer and look over our statistics for July 2023. I ended up playing 142 duels with Springins over the course of six streams. We won 87 of those duels and lost 55, which gives this deck an overall win rate around 61%. We only went through about two builds during our time before ending on this list behind me, which contains 17 common cards, 13 super rare cards, and 25 ultra rare cards. Since most of those URs were staples I already owned, I only spent about 1,000 gems on this month's deck, which would cost roughly $19 if you bought them all at the store at the standard price. Finally, all of this would not have been possible without 405 awesome patrons who helped support the channel. 27 of those patrons donated $25 or more this month, so I'd like to take a moment to thank them personally. Their names are Davon Crushin, Cat Monarch, Shadow1317, Austin Glover, Chris W, Ya Boy Slurp, Muntry, Barbarians Are Us, Boomer Noob underscore, Chris Kessler, Default Titan 97, The Dancing Joker, Elance, Emperor Lelouch, Inge Magnus, Jeff M, JJ Squirtle, MBT Yu-Gi-Oh, Nathan, Naw Dog The Razor, Quinn Tingent, Sanguine Strawberry, Spooky, Tengen Tapa Bob Ross, Tristan Marlowe, and Viscount Billy Esquire. If you'd like to join them, there's a Patreon link down in the description. Just $1 gets you on my Discord, $25 gets your name in the credits, and for $10, you can get a special role that allows you to vote on what deck I play next. Speaking of which, next time on Ladder Climb, things are gonna get a bit dire. 
It's time to set the stage for some truly big bosses as we break out the generators. If you want to see me attempt this in real time, you can follow me at twitch.tv slash hardleggaming where I stream most of my duels. Otherwise, until next time, good luck and have fun.